I didn't want to make this video, but it kept coming up. I kept seeing people like celebrating that this man has been deplatformed and taken down. It's just a matter of time before the pendulum swings back and it's your way. I thought Lex was a guy that stood on this pole and was willing to talk to anybody. I'm, I'm extremely disappointed. If I talk to somebody like Andrew Tate, even if I have a really hard hitting, I think it could be a very good conversation that lessens the likelihood that uh, a brilliant, powerful female will go on the show because they will never, they'll never watch it. But we, the thing we do in the society is we put labels on each other. Well, Lex is the person that platforms misogynist. Yep. Lex, you're wrong about not having Andrew Tate on your podcast. And it's not actually about the person. So even if you don't like him, it's not about him. You've already had hundreds of guests on and that many people already disagree with so many of those people and you don't even realize it. And they've already made a decision and judgment about you, about not coming on your podcast. And these could be incredible people, but they've already made the decision. So if they've made the decision already and you don't even know it, then what you are fearful of has already happened. You will already be labeled a negative way no matter who you have on, no matter, no matter what you do in life, people, someone gonna, it's, tri it's trite, it's fucking trite. I thought Lex was a guy that stood on this pole and was willing to talk to anybody. And I, I, I love that someone was standing up for that ideal, someone who could have really articulate conversations and, and go in depth about these ideas. And I'm, I'm extremely disappointed because now there's very few guys left. No one knows about my podcast. I can't like speak to these people yet, right? But Lex was one of those guys who could do it. And the fact that he is caving into the, to the fear of judgment, of inevitable judgment from everybody is saddens me because the way to combat discourse you disagree with is with better discourse. There's only ne negative with suppressing ideas and not allowing people or not encouraging people to speak. It only goes into echo chambers and those ideas don't get challenged and disagreed with and, and, and combated with and grown to be made into even better, more evidence-based, critically thought out decisions and ideas and opinions. You said you would speak to Hitler. You're going to speak to Putin. You'd speak to Stalin. So you wouldn't speak to Andrew Tate? How is there not a, contradicting, a contradiction there? There clearly is. And that cognitive dissonance is from a, fab, from a very real, but also fabricated pressure from society. You need to be at some point willing to die on your own principles. And one of the principles for me is I will speak to anybody on planet earth, no matter how controversial or potentially even dangerous their ideas are because everyone deserves a conversation and discourse and to be talked to and listened to no matter who they are. It doesn't matter what you've done. We should be able to talk about it. When we talk about it, we develop compassion, empathy, understanding for the other person. Before we apply our own judgments on them, we need to understand why they did that. It sounds ridiculous, but why did the rapist do what they do? Why did the pedophile do what they do? Why did Hitler do what he did? And we're comparing, obviously, very extreme examples here. But those extreme examples, if you can agree with those extreme examples, then you can agree with anybody. Meaning you can talk to anybody and you should be able to talk to anybody. I'm very disappointed that in, don't let fear drive your, your decision making to have a conversation with somebody because no matter what you do, if you say anything, no matter what you say, they're going to come for you. People are going to disagree with this. I didn't want to make this video, but it kept coming up. I kept seeing people like celebrating that this man has been deplatformed and taken down. It's just a matter of time before the pendulum swings back and it's your way. And now people you agree with are now being suppressed. It's not about the person. It's not about the specific idea. It's about the principle that at any moment, all gone. And that should be a terrifying reality to people that everything, your, your, free, your freedom to be able to communicate in the world, to access your bank accounts, to move about the world, can be restricted and taken away because an entity, a government, someone said, uh, someone disagreed and didn't like what you said. That should be a terrifying reality to people, and we cannot overcome that potential terrifying reality if we do not have healthy, civil, critically thought out discourse with people, no matter who they are. If we do not, then that terrifying reality 
eventually swings back your way, left, right wing, middle. It's just a matter of time before the people you agree with and that you resonate with begin to be like, oh, now they're being suppressed. It may not affect you now, but it eventually will unless you defend the principle and idea that we should be able to communicate and have discourse with everybody, no matter who they are or what they have done. Please consider this, Lex. <sighs> Please.